Okay, great today for this exciting workshop on mastering algo creating using Fires API. Yeah. I am Vignesh, the marketing manager at Fires, and it's my pleasure to be your host for the session. Before we dive into today's sessions, let me share some recent market news that has buzzing. Just last week, we witnessed a historic rally in tech sector with companies in artificial intelligence and cloud comp computing, breaking all records. This comeback highlights how important it is to keep up with the latest technology in trading. And that's precisely what we are here to discuss today. So uh, before we get started, let me briefly introduce our speaker for today, Archit Mittal. Archit is an expert in algo quant trader and a mentor for algo trading as well. So Archit <laughs> also has experience in building trading software for fintech companies. Now he's here to help you learn how algo, Archit, you were saying something? Uh, your voice is a bit bra breaky, like everyone can hear my voice. Can you please confirm that if it is uh, clear or is it breaking also? My voice is clear. Uh, okay, voice your is voice low. Your voice is perfectly clear. Okay, so your voice is bit uh, on the breaking side, like it's bit breaking, as most of the guys are uh, saying that thing. Okay, no problem, no problem. Continue. Like I'll I'll take the like uh, uh, take the host from there. Yeah. Hold on a second, maybe I'll. Okay, so viewers, we encourage you to participate actively and ask questions during the Q and A session at the end of the workshop. You can type this by typing your questions in the Q and A option on Zoom. And if you're watching this uh, webinar on YouTube, then use the live chat feature on YouTube as well. So without further ado, uh, Archit, the screen is yours. Let's let's begin yeah. with the work. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thanks, thanks everyone. Thanks, Fires, for inviting me first of all, and thanks everyone for joining in. So let's let like, let's deep dive uh, deep dive into this API trading. Like, what is this? Why is this so much craze? And which like uh, okay and we, we have we are like seeing that with the advancements of ai cloud computing and all these things how we can leverage these things with the api thing we'll discuss each and everything uh, louder can uh, everyone is able to hear me perfectly uh, is my voice low or is it okay okay please uh, please uh, shubhankar ji check on your side your to me or yeah yeah okay shubhankar ji please uh, check on your side Okay, thanks, thanks everyone. So we'll discuss like what are the things as you have seen the basic content also of this uh, topic of this webinar that we'll be discussing most of these things that API is there. What what is what actually is API? And when you have so many like noise in the market that uh, everything is uh, happening, like you have no code tools, you have many other things, many platforms which are opposing to tell you that they will like they will teach you to trade and this and that. Trading is a sector which is completely different, and we are like when we are coming to an API thing, an API trading or an algo trading, most commonly known as algo trading. The main aspect is that we should treat our trading as business not as a speculative just gambling kind of a thing that just go into the market purchase something most of you joined here like i'm pretty sure that most of you guys are traders all those who are seeing in the, on the youtube also most of you guys are traders only and this is like i'll tell you there will be like a part in the slide that where i be, i'll be telling you when a topic like api trading or algo trading or basically a no code platform when it is much more useful for you as a person it's not definitely not for everyone and it's like uh, if you go and just fall into the traps of just api tradings and all these things the main problem which you will be facing is that you will not be focusing on the trading aspect first so we'll be discussing that that how you should be beginning your journey and when is the right time for you to enter into the trade we'll be like we'll be completely transparent about this thing and i like uh, meanwhile also in between for the guys who have joined on zoom i'll take the questions in between also and when i'll be finishing like finishing my session i'll be taking some questions from the youtube audience also as the live chat okay so just starting this just one second let me check if there is some good question uh, delay okay can we get a recorded okay so i guess there is a youtube live you can get the recordings from the youtube live okay chalo let's discuss so first I'm not sure what uh, what the audience is like here. Like most of uh, you are technical. Uh, yes, I believe a lot of questions are coming up regarding the recording of the session. So I yeah. want to clarify that the recorded session will be available on the Fire's YouTube channel. Okay, uh, so Fire's YouTube channel you can check, and there you will be getting the recording of this session also. Okay, 
Now, now let's focus on this thing. Now, what is an API? First of all, just a quick question with everyone. Uh, you are, are you from a technical or a non-technical background? Just write a T or an NT on the chat so I can get a clear idea where you guys are coming from. Mostly a technical. Great. I raised it with scan shot, but not resolved it. NT, non-technical. Okay. So we have a mix of both that. Uh, technical and guys. Uh, sorry, Malikji, uh, it's like it's a seminar in English only. So uh, we have to like cater the audience, all the audience which are comfortable in English. So we have like we have many guys from technical aspects also and we have many guys from a non-technical aspect. So just giving you a very basic example that what actually is API is, you can just think of it. It's a very common and a layman example that when you go to a restaurant, a good restaurant, it's not like you are just going for a street food vendor. When you are going for a restaurant, what's the main uh, scenario looks like there? Are you like, are you just tell me yes or no in this case? Are you going to the chef first and tell them that, hey, chef, prepare me this. Then the chef is bringing you the order and the chef is collecting payment from you. Is this happening when you are visiting a restaurant? What what What's the actual scenario? What What is the link which I'm missing here? Who does all these things? A waiter. Most of you guys. So basically, you know, right? You don't go. You just fetch some things that please waiter, uh, give me, get me this order and you give your payments also. with. The, so this waiter, the role of the waiter in the real term for all the guys who are uh, non-technical and aspect for those guys, this is an example you can relate with. So a waiter serves as the purpose of the API that it connects your thoughts that what you want from the exchange and the what your broker is giving you. So in case like when you are requesting fires to give you your positions, you give you your historical data or you uh, give you like place your order. So you are not directly going to the exchange. Fires is also, any broker is also acting as a mediator, but you have a direct connection with your broker. And those all the things, these docs, which you like, I'm very sure for all the non-technical guys also, you have read this thing that Fires has launched a V3 doc. Now, what is a V2 doc? What is a V3 doc? What are these technical jargons? Basically, in any industry, there are a couple of jargons. But when you just understand those things, the logic is very simple. It's like you don't have to go very much deep into these things. It's just, If you know the concepts well, the foundations well, you can formulate many things with the foundations. Okay. So this is the common API only that it serves as a basic uh, mediator, what you want and what you want to convey to your broker and what the broker can give you. In terms of the functions, like I must say that fires when you read the V3 documentation, the latency part and the functions, the extra functions which fires has added. It is like, I guess it is one of the best functions. I'm like, I'm trading in multiple uh, brokers also. So I'm, I'm not seeing these type of functions on fires. So we'll be seeing today in the coding section also towards the end, I can show you a demo code and how like how this is beneficial for you. Okay, this is clear API, API part, it just acts as a mediator, you just request something to the mediator, and the mediator will fetch you something from the chef that is the fires in this case, yes or no, everyone technical non technical guys, just the basic where arounds. Right? Just write a Y or an N. Good, 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 great. Can you share? The, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll try to share the demo code also. Yeah. So this is like this is one thing. The second thing when we move ahead, why we require API and is it like the API trading same as the no code trading? What is the difference between these things? What are those no code platforms? There are, I guess, a couple of no code platforms on fires also. So what is this? So basically everything which you want to do, if you want to automatedly place an order, see whether your signal is running or not. If there is an entry or an exit or something you want to do with the broker, you have to go via the route of API. Now, as an end user, you can like, it's just a simple analogy as you can think of. If you are going to a restaurant, that the main thing which you require is food. If you are going to a restaurant, you are uh, telling the waiter. If you are sitting at your home, you can just open up your apps like Swiggy Zomato and a delivery guy will come with the order, right? So it's like, it's just the, just the ways. It's not like uh, the efforts in going into a restaurant is more or the delivery way. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages. If you want to go for a fine dining, you cannot like order from home. That's the, that's the main thing. 
So the, these are the things now coming to the main parts of the API, any, any type of API, which you are using, uh, any type of API substitute you are using either a no code or a code platform. What are the main things? The main thing, which most of you, I guess most of you are traders here or basically do some kind of trading. The major thing which you all face is when there is a stop loss in the market, you never places it. And when there is a target, you always have this thing. Let, let it let it go above or basically you are not able to hold the targets as per your risk reward ratios how many of you are here facing this difficulty stop losses and targets these are like one of the main thing there are other things but stop losses and targets are like are one of the things which really haunts you out when there is a stop loss you think there is a hope factor in you that yes it will go up it will go up just just a little bit more just 500 rupee more then i will exit and on the other hand when you have like when you are achieving the targets let's say you have a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 3 and when it is at 1 is to 1 you are thinking for every 10 rupee or 20 rupee drop should i sell it kya i'm getting 500 just just bag this thing why why i'm not bagging this profit yes or no like how many of you are dealing with this thing right these are like these are the emotional things you should be i know as a, as i am also a full time trader i can very much understand that this is one of the things which if you are trading for a long period of time some of the traders crave for this thing but as long as this habit we cannot curb out or basically we cannot develop some systems to just eliminate all these things what will happen is we will be trading we may become profitable also but to scale the trade let's say today you are trading with 10000 tomorrow you are you want to trade with 1 lakh or 10 lakh or basically 5 cr also now, will that same habit will help you out or like will lose you a lot of money on a 10,000 rupee if you are taking like 2,000 rupee risk or 5,000 rupee risk like if you are not cutting off your stop losses also at 5,000 rupee you are just losing 5,000 but just imagine when you have 10 lakh rupee you cannot do that with 10 lakh rupee right you have like you want some proper back tested systems you want some at least some edge in the market so that you can and you want to stay out of that capital. If you want to trade, take 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 in the market, trade it out. If you have the appetite to lose that much, just go and do this thing and your, let your emotions come. But when it comes to like making the capital as a steady flow, as a business, then you can't risk it like this. Agree with me, me on this thing? Yes or no? Most of you guys. Right. So for making like making this trading as a business, then like then you want some things which works in your favor which like whatever the thing which is stopping you from going ahead like your emotions or basically no no proper systems or basically irregularity in the market sometimes it happens that most of you guys maybe are from a working background now let's say you developed a very cool strategy which works which takes a position at 945 or basically let's say at let me make it more genuine let's say some strategy which is taking positions at 10 30 am or 11 am right now what is that time maybe you want to go to the office there is an office meeting how many of you have faced some irregularities in the market like sometimes it is 10 30 sometimes it is 11 o'clock sometimes it is 10 45 sometimes it is 10 15 but it's like it's missing sometimes right so for these things you don't want your strategy to lose out i know like there is an argument in this thing also that archit what happens is that this is no this is god's grace on me like when I like when I become 15 minutes late now, I have seen the trades are working out in my direction. Can you make that thing? Can you do this thing when you are managing like one CR or two CR? I hope like when you are in the trading business, you are not here to just earn the room rent, which you are living or basically the house mortgage. You are here to make big money on a one CR capital. You cannot leave everything to luck. You have to create some systems. You can make the luck part on the smaller capital but for, for a larger capital you want some systems which execute day in day out they are performing their things and if there is a if there is a volatility also in the market that it is hitting your stop loss and then going above in your direction it's okay it's completely fine it will do it one time two time ten time in a month but if your system is handy, if your system is doing good, if you if you have an edge in the system, you will never lose in the market. It's just like the uh, game uh, in the casino. So basically in the API trading, let's come back to this. 
benefits of the api trading we have these things also you will be like you will be releasing all the emotional uh, matters in this thing you can treat it as a business you can handle multiple strategies now uh, i'm uh, sure like you have seen multiple youtube videos or basically on fires also you have attended webinars there will be guys one guy is telling you to approach a strategy using an rs guy is telling you approach the strategy uh, using uh, before uh, uh, 10 pm uh, 10 am or 11 am or after 2 pm maybe maybe like this so there are three to four five strategies and in the markets you cannot know that which style suits you you want to try it out all can you try out every strategy on the same day if you have three strategies can you try out all the three strategies no right you want either you will be trying one of the strategy for five months six months then you will be moving forward with that thing why not if you like if you really want to try out three or four or five strategies you can go ahead with five or seven strategies and you can just give it to your systems just give me a two thousand five thousand or ten thousand rupees like if it is a normal equity strategy or basically normal future strategy if it is an option strategy if it's a buy strategy you can give five thousand ten thousand just give it just give one lot thing and see what is happening after like a couple of months three months you will be having a better advantage. This is if you are a beginner, if you are on an advanced level, you cannot risk everything on one strategy. I have worked like, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not giving my introduction as my like uh, as my history. I have worked in a hedge fund. So I have worked with institutional guys, the smart money, which is like called by the retail traders. So I've seen in my, the team, which I was working on, like the quant team, which I was working on, I was working exactly like more than 30 strategies. We were uh, running at one time. Why? Two major reasons. reasons. One, we have a lot of capital. We, we cannot just go with uh, all this, that capital with one strategy. Why? It can manipulate the market up and down. Second, if the capital is also not there, I want to diversify each of my strategy. There are some strategy, mainly three types of strategy. This is the trading part. We will be coming to the API part. Mainly there are three strategies in the markets, trending, reversal, or a sideway view market. So these are the all the strategy, all the other game plans are there that how to execute this thing. But majorly the broader idea is trending, reversal, or a sideway. I cannot bet everything on a trending strategy. I cannot bet everything on a reversal strategy. I cannot bet everything on a non-directional strategy. I have to diversify. And you manually cannot do it. You want some strategies. You want some systems to do that thing. You When you will be growing your capital, like from 10 lakh to let's say 50 lakh tomorrow, or let's say one CR also in, in a couple of months, you should be knowing that how your strategy will behave with one CR capital. Otherwise, you will be getting the draw. You cannot afford the drawdown on a 10,000 rupee on a one, one CR capital. So all these things and the major thing which I want to point it out, which is like the last point here with the advent of AI and all these tools which are there in the market. I am not very sure what's stopping you to learn this thing to learn uh, algorithmic trading and by yourself. I'll tell you like either learn it or basically use it, get a consultancy, get an in-house algorithmic system developed. But why not now? You you can do everything. There is an AI tool. The AI tool will not itself will give you a strategy. Very frankly speaking, you should be knowing the ins and outs of it. The AI will help you implement it properly. The learning curve, which is like for learning curve for a language, for a programming language, which was very steep at one point of time, it has become very less. Like you can now go to GPT or BARD or any other software and just tell that person, uh, you can hear me guys, right? Can you please confirm? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yes. So you can go to any AI tool and you can write, you cannot write, just give me a trading strategy, which works good, or just give me a trading strategy. Just build me all the trade. No, that is your broker is very specific. Like your fires is very specific. All the fires documentation, if you're putting in AI also, it will not be able to generate all the specified results that you have to do manually, but small logics, create me an RSI logic, convert my tick by tick data to some like, um, uh, OHLC kind of a data. These all things, these small, small things, when you give small, small commands and you know how to like, how to integrate all these commands, then it will like, it will make much more sense and you will, you will proceed forward. So it's like previously you have to write these small commands on yourself. Today, you don't have to write all these things. There are tools, there are uh, technologies out there.
and we'll be seeing like if you are uh, if you really don't want to uh, learn it out like the if you don't want to learn a language there are multiple softwares which are there in the market there are multiple no code tools also there in the market you can use but if you are saying no like i will do just manually everything it's like it's good till a 5 lakh of capital or a 10 lakh of a capital but after that if the if you are uh, going for smaller time frame strategies like 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute 20 minute then this thing will not uh, either you go positional then there are other uh, other methods to tackle that out we'll discuss each and every one okay i hope this is clear the benefits the basic benefits which i tried to explain any questions around this thing i would love to answer that let me see any questions okay great now what are the languages you are seeing that there are multiple languages in the markets literally there are more than 2000 200 languages in the market which language to use as a non technical person if you are a non technical person one of the best languages will be python why because it is very straight forward and if you know two things in the markets uh, uh, two things in your real life first english second you know math uh, uh, arithmetic mathematics uh, what what i mean by this thing you remember you guys like everyone on youtube also or here also you remember there was a time in your school when like when everything just one second yes when everything what happened was math which was like 2 plus 2 equals to 4 or 15 cross 2 equals to 30 it just turned out to be find the value of x or y or a or b or c you remember that time it was not from first standard right there was a transition right you remember everyone there was a, trans a transition in the mathematics that you value of this becomes when alphabets are introduced in mathematics right so that was like that was one of the periods so this is like if you know this thing that if i am telling x equals to 10 and i'm if i'm asking you what is the value of x can you tell me 10 right see it's it's that so if you know these things also these small small things that will help you if you if someone will give is giving you a predefined code also or basically you are creating this code by a use of someone else you can very easily modulate the code also without without the fear that what will happen if i change this or that you can understand these things if you and this like in the it will take bit more time like 3 4 months to gain all these things <laughs> yes so it will take 3 uh, 4 months for all these things but it's like it's a worth uh, uh, it's worth putting the efforts within like 3 4 months you will be learning everything it is a bit tougher side i'm not saying it is as easy as a no code tool where you are just putting the values but the advantages are far more than any no code platform i'll tell you how and you have to assess it yourself if it is much more useful for you or not for if i am coming to the language preferred for the technical guys technical guys can use any language which they are comfortable in the language which the primary language or basically the language which they are using currently for development in their companies you can go with that currently i guess like the sdk is provided uh, non technical guys this is just take up two minute pause for this thing this is just a talk with technical guys i am seeing the sdk provided by fires are node js and i guess they are providing java also c++ also there are multiple codes uh, code sdks which they are giving python to they are giving like the full support like if you just go and write it normally but if you also have development experience in other languages and don't want to learn python for this special purposes you can do that too you just need see you you know development i will be telling you the life cycle of an algo trading strategy and then you will be knowing that you just have to work on three to four things once that is done then you can use your own development cycle for the uh, non technical guys python will be the suitable language and i i insist the technical guys also to prefer the python language all, only because the libraries are immense let's say in the next coming 10 years if you want to integrate machine learning or ai algorithms in your uh, stock market strategies you can very well easily do it because the community support is very wide right like all the non technical oh, all the technical guys agreeing with me on this thing the support for python is immense the libraries and all these support right yes so basically this 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 is the thing this is how you will be defining your languages that what you will be choosing moving ahead now comes the major part 
Archit, you have told me so many things. Why shouldn't I go with some no-code platform, which are there, which are gaining very much traction, and why I should go for an API trading? See, the points are written in front of you. I'll give you, this is like, I'm not reading out the slide. I just want to give you the cost comparisons, customizability, it's okay. The main thing is just tell me one thing. When you are using any no-code kind of a platform, any no-code kind of a platform or any platform which gives you a predefined set of rules, like there are 10, 20, 15, yeah, any, anything, anything. There are 10, 15, 20, 30 uh, rules which are given there. You can define your time. You can define uh, your straddles, your strangles, or basically iron condors, butterflies, anything you can like, you can create there. Just tell me one thing, the traders who want to explore, explore something new in the market, do you think it will be available in these platforms? Like if you are, just, just think, just listen about th this thing. Let's say, Straddles and strangles are very popular and they gained a very large traction uh, in the year 2021 and especially, I guess, in the first half of 2022, the 920 straddle. How many of you know about the 920 straddle story? Have you traded, anyone traded a 920 straddle? Straddle or strangle? Right. What are the results now? Is it like, is it as superior as 2020, 2021 or 2022 or it has dropped significantly? What do you think? It is currently also good, right? Like I have not making money now. Yeah, exactly. So most of the strategies, most uh, I'm completely neutral. No problem. No problem, Anuragji. It's just that there is a strategy in the market, which is like, which was very popular. My main point is around this is there is a strategy which is very popular. And in most of the uh, no code platforms, which you are seeing in the market, most of the no-code platforms, they will be providing you because they have to scale also. You think about their company perspective also, and that is very clear and very, I guess, very fair also. They want to deliver to maximum customers. Like they want to reach out to maximum customers. They can't customize as per your thinking. Let's say who doesn't get an idea when they just wake up, right? Every time, need to understand. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll tell you. Every time you wake up in the morning, you see the markets, you are like, if you are a market enthusiast, like I'm not very sure because I feel these things. If you are a market enthusiast, every time you see the markets, every time you are seeing the charts, every time you are seeing the price moments, you get an idea. This is like this line, it is not breaking. This is the support level. This is like, this is the RSI level. This is the key indicator. If I do this, na, then it will happen. But you don't gather the courage to just trade that idea, right? And when you are going for the no code platforms also, there will be like a constant charge. Like you have to give for the back testing. Yes. For the initial thing, just to get to know that if this thing works or not, then you don't have to write a full code around that thing. Right. Obviously you will go with like, if there is a cheaper option, 50, 100, 200 rupees option, you just go there and check it out that whether this idea is there. But when you do want to more research around that idea, fine tune that idea, the main thing is if the parameters are very well known to the larger set of audience, you can do it very well. In hedge funds, we don't use uh, like this uh, indicators. We have like we we do the price uh, uh, price uh, uh, price calculations. Like the retail traders are into the price action. The hedge funds and the bigger institutions are in the spread action. The trade on spreads, the HFTs, the high frequency tradings, they trade on spreads. Now, when the smart money is not trading on indicators and you guys as retail traders, or I am also as a retail trader, if I am much more dependent on indicators, just think about it. All these indicators, the predefined indicators, either on any charting platform, I'm not naming anything, on any charting platform or anywhere where it is, it is good at some extent, but there is a high probability that this other person will also know this thing. How you will be getting that extra returns, that extra returns in the financial world is known as the alpha, that how you will be generating that alpha. What is the edge in the market, extra edge in the market, which you have. And you cannot test all these things on a no-code platform. You have to write it on your own or basically you have to give someone the assignment with your idea that I want to test this thing out. Just make this thing and think about how, how the cost varies. You can take any no-code platform. I'll tell you the cost comparison, a basic cost comparison. You can take any uh, platform, which is a no-code platform. They are cheap, no, no doubt. And for the initial testing part, I would also like recommend them. I just go and give a basic idea testing there rather than using your systems. The second part is that 
after the no code system comes the algo softwares so you have multiple softwares which has like 30000 40000 50000 rupees softwares and this is also like you have to give an upfront cost and then you will be trading it out the third thing if you learn a programming language it is a 3 months or 4 months of efforts by effort wise i guess with uh, for the three things which i told effort wise it is a bit more but once you gave the efforts you save so much cost like every cost is you have all the libraries are free languages are free ides are free cloud platforms also are one month free aws free entire aws and if you want after one year also it hardly takes 400 or to 500 per month to run your strategies or backtest your strategies right yes so i'll i'll, I'll come to that part also lakshman ji so think think about this thing it's like the world will advance and of giving you the numbers if i give you the data you can check it out uh, this data also 85 to 90 percent people in us markets who are currently trading either retail or every other sector which is there in the us uh, they are like they are in the algo space some or other kind of algo systems are getting traded there when it comes to india the number is around 45 to 50 percent that is also high net worth individuals or basically the uh, uh, DIIs or FIIs who are trading the Indian markets, 45, 50. The retail, there is a lot of scope for the retail traders to get themselves automated. That's why you have these more uh, 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 no code systems. You can go with that. Like if we discuss who should use what, if you are a non technical person, uh, now listen to this very carefully. I'm giving you the classification. Just think about yourself in which classifications you, uh, classification you are coming. If you are a non technical person, and you are like having the capital to trade in the market less than 5 lakh rupee. Just focus on your profitability first. First get profitable, then come to the systems. If you are a non-technical trader, a non-technical person, which is handling more than 20 lakh. So it is like after more than 20 lakh, it is much more difficult to just trade and the time frame is like within day intraday trading is there if it is swing trading or a positional kind of a trading then yes then you can do again but if you are a non-technical person managing more than 15 lakh or a 20 lakh rupee then you should be like focusing on building systems using python it will save you a lot coming to the technical person technical person anyhow like you have an added advantage you should be going for the system for the uh, uh, for building the systems but i should tell you one thing there should be one thing which should be there in everyone's mind i'll be very honest first try to generate profitability in the market if you are not profitable or basically if you are profitable also where to i i'll, I'll tell you ravi um, if you are not profitable then it makes no sense to just get this. The, these systems will not make you uh, magically profitable. If you are not profitable, you will remain. It's just that if you are profitable, it will help you in multiple factors. If you are not profitable also, or if you are on the verge or basically managing a larger capital, it will save you from your emotions. A person who is like, who is not profitable and managing more than 15 lakh or 20 lakh rupee, these systems will save them a lot because they have a fixed thing. They, if you if your system said that the maximum drawdown is 20 percent you can take by via the back testing results you can take 10 more percent that is 30 percent you will at max lose 30 percent but on the upper side they will be giving you the idea but if you are doing this via your emotions you don't know per trade percentage what risk you should have to, you have to take those calculations because you have work right you are not most of you are not full time into trading most of you currently are into part time thing they want something some systems which act on their way it's not like that you took a trade you went to an auto there was an uh, internet connection lost and for like for the next half an hour or one an hour uh, the internet is not there and after one an hour, uh, one hour you will be sick how will you scale in that thing so this is like algo trading api trading is the next step to your trading don't think that thing that first I'll uh, learn algo systems. I highly uh, discourage that first I'll learn systems and then I'll go for the trading part. No, first learn trading, get yourself something like some ideas around that. And meanwhile, you can learn all these systems. So this will like this will come handy when in the next three to four months you start generating some profits you start generating all these things you can go with these systems that will like that will give a double boost to you. I guess I'm making sense right yes or no please tell me. Right. What about others? Great, great, great. So 
do you have the api documentations yes 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 i have the api documentations so i'll show you the api documentations if you want okay so this is this is the thing just don't uh, rush to the very new thing every day it's like first focus on the things which you know now the new things which are coming in the market leverage that onto your positions that will like that will help you grow faster and earn profit can you clarify me this api this api thing is that let's say there is a very popular strategy in the market the 5 ema strategy right that there is a market is going up there is a candle on the top and you are seeing a 5 ema drop so you like you just uh, take the position with the stop loss with the previous candle high something like that right what is it yeah so api is just that uh, currently how you place the order omit ji that you go to the ter terminal see the candle see the charts and place a buy or a sell order when it is hitting the stop loss you will be like you will be going there again you will be pressing the points or basically you are making if you are having a cover order or a bracket order then it's a different case but otherwise you are going there to manually see the things and placing the order api trading what it do is it will help you connect yourself to the broker and via the connection the api will yeah cover order. i i understand that via these connections what happens is the code will itself just check it out whether the conditions are fulfilling or not yes or no if it is like the if it is a entry condition exit condition or something like that so it will just go there and execute on its own without you interfering let's say you are busy with something or basically you electricity is not there internet is not there your code uh, your laptop crash something like some this or that thing which causes you indiscipline that's like that is when you this api thing comes into uh, comes handy right now you are getting the point a basic this is an overview we will be having much more uh, more sessions so we'll be discussing very uh, in detail about these things also so this is the basic concept what you are doing manually you just give it to a system so that you can free up some more time to do other things in your life either like you do uh, other uh, um, uh, anything uh, anything other than trading or you can like develop more strategies if you have given couple of strategies for the algos to the algos like go and execute these strategies i am working on other strategies so this is how you will be automating these processes okay yeah yeah it's great how to use it exactly like it's it's very great so as i told you from the very first thing very first slide that it is like alpha generation yes just give me one minute amit ji let me finish this one and i'll come to the alpha generation part okay okay managing trading as business so basically as i told you from the first slide the speculation the gambling kind of a perspective or basically the stop loss the emotion thing that reduces by a very much extent it's like the, there is a trade you have given proper stop losses you can give dynamic stop losses also dynamic take profits also like let's say if you purchase something at 100 and you have a stop loss at 90 and the profit is at 130 now the code starts moving at 100 to 105 then 110 then now at 110 one is to one risk reward is achieved yes now you don't want to lose from here so you can shift your stop loss from 90 till let's say 95 not even 100 95 Let, let's say maximum i lose 95 if the market just keeps on moving up and you are hitting the one is to three reward it is well and good if it is like by chance dropping backwards you will be having an edge you will not be losing that much money so dynamic stop losses dynamic take profits all these things can be coded and can be these and these codes like let me show you something so yes so basically when you will be writing the code i know when you are hearing this thing again and again from me that um, it is a coding part it is a coding part many of you guys will get overwhelmed with this thing that i can i learn coding at this age yes or no or something like that when you are writing the code you can develop the code as a no code tool also how you will be writing some of the codes where you will be putting the efforts once. So let's say this is your login code. Then you will be having something like placing order code. Then you will be having your entry rules, exit rules, stop loss rules, take profit rules and uh, trailing SL rules. These are five rules you are giving your strategies. This is your login and this is your place order thing. So now let's say if you want to code a second strategy or a third strategy, just tell me, will you have to place a uh, write the login and the place order logic again if these are like uh, coded in some boxes kind of thing? Yes or no? What do you think? 
right? So you can just pick it out, copy it, paste it. So it will exactly work as a no code kind of a substitution. You will write it once and then just copy paste here and there. I'll show you my module, my code module also, how I have made everything very functional. So you can take it anywhere, just create the login, just create the place order, just create the entry, exit, stop loss, and what all things are there. Right. So similar, let's say now you want to create a new strategy, only these modules you have to change. And that also, if you have some, let's say the new strategy having different entry logic, but the exit stop loss and the take profit logics are same that take, uh, let's say you have a fixed 3% stop loss and 6% uh, of profit or 9% of a profit. So do you think you have to change this block of SL also now or up take profit now? It will not just the entry and exit signals you will be changing and that's how like you will be building multiple strategies also most of the code which you write it you will be writing in functional block format and that block can be put from one place to another very easily okay i hope that that is making sense apart from this thing there are multiple additional features which you can see on the screen also that are like your pre uh, uh, pre-trade analytics and post-trade analytics. Let's say at 9.15, the market is opening. Before the market opens at 8.30, 8 o'clock, you get an overview of the market, that what is happening in the market. In this overview, what all can you see? You can see where the gift nifty is headed, right? You can see what were the uh, closing prices of the last 50 days, like uh, uh, nifty 50, there are 50 symbols. What were the closing prices? Were they How much percentage change was there? So let's say out of 50, 49 stocks closed in red and a very huge red. So there, there can be a bit of a mean reversion or basically the selling can continue. So this code can tell you very basic things. So all these things will be, you will be having a report in front of you at 8, 8.30 that market sentiments are something like this, looking like this as per your analysis. And you can like, uh, you can create some scanners out of this also. Like let's say you figure out some stocks. So I have some uh, candlestick scanners also like a bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, all these scanners you can also make. At 8.30, you will be having all the list. These stocks are probably bullish and these stocks are probably bearish in the market. If this is the case, you can further automate it. If this price, let's say a uh, stock ITC is bullish in my list uh, in a pre-trade analytics at 8.30, I got the list as ITC as the bullish thing. So it can tell us that if ITC cross, let's say 505, just go and buy it because it is like it will go in the momentum kind of a phase or basically if you are a momentum trader or a mean reversal trader, that depends on you, but you get the information pre-market. After market also, your general handling. How many of you uh, write a general every day after markets? I'll tell you Ashutosh. Very good. So, and how many of you are irregular in create, maintaining a general? Right. So basically this irregularity every day at four o'clock sharp, your general entry will be created and you don't have to worry about that much. You can just go there. If you want to add some comments on your own, you can come add the comments. Otherwise, what is the prices? What are the views of the markets? And there are multiple things which you can do highly customized all these things if you want to go to the market so there is like one is for no code one is for general link one is for this one is for that you have to go for five seven companies and then you will be getting all these things if you learn python once it's a one-time effort and if you are putting it right you will be like you will be creating all these things for yourself and after like six months eight months or one year of practice you will be at the end of the day you will be learning more things in the technology space and then you will be moving forward. All the non-technical guys can agree with me on this thing that the space in the next five to 10 years, it is much more technical rather than just like uh, in the manual space. There will be like players will be, which will be dominating. The, you have to otherwise, if it is non-technical also, at least you should be having a rock solid discipline. Can you do that? Or you want the system to do it for you? That's the very question at the end of the day, right? Coming to the API demo, before that, I'll uh, try to answer some questions. Do you have the API documentations? I'll show uh, uh, show those documentation. Ashutoshji is asking, there are many people providing al algo systems. Is it okay to purchase from them? See, my always stance is try to learn it for yourself. It will take three, four months. You can know that which person is selling you the right thing or which person is just uh, faking you out. 
basically if you are getting a system which is like which is sold to 100 people why you want that system why don't you want if you are creating a system customize it for yourself right that is the argument for this thing that if it is highly customizable for you if the person is saying yes he can like he can follow the uh, 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 that non disclosure agreement in nda then yes you can go ahead with this thing but my preference will be for you that please try to learn this for yourself right apart from that do you teacher yes yes i do teach i had developed strategies using historical data need to learn web socket programming yes amit ji we'll see a basic web socket code today also in our api demo and um, um, you can connect with me also so we can take like the web socket classes okay apart from this any other question one person also asked me alpha generation can you elaborate amit ji amit ji are you here can you please just write the answer yes uh what's the name amit yes so uh yeah so basically amit ji you asked alpha generation alpha generation is what everyone is doing in the market you have to do something else to get an edge in the market so that edge is known as the alpha that let's say for the same 920 straddle everyone is following that 920 straddle strategy everyone is doing that but you just figured out rather than 920 take a trade at 924 and basically tweak out some variables or add one more indicator and now the results normal people are getting a results of 10% per year you can get a result of 15% or 20% per year that is the edge that is the extra alpha you are figuring out in the market i guess that makes it clear amit ji right yes can we automate positional trading yes 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 shweta ji very well like you can create a, a positional trading also it's just that it makes much more sense uh, when this positional trading you are completely like if you are a swing trader or a positional trader then i highly suggest you if you have a complete robust because these trading styles are quite good to know and if you are making losses please please don't automate it make it profitable it is very easy to it not very easy it's comparatively easier to become profitable in a uh, swing trading kind of a thing or a positional positional trading and your algos can handle it once you are profitable give it to your algos focus on building a much a, a bit lower time frame strategies also okay yes i uh, can you tell me what is a general general is you uh, general you write in a diary everything or you write in the excel sheet everything what are the trades you took what is the logic rationale behind this thing what was the realized profit unrealized profit what are the total profits so far all these things are captured in a general how to develop algos uh, please so i'll tell you hope today we'll cover automate trades right yes so i'll i'll show you that thing coming to that part just a couple of questions more during the demo session can you give the demo in below get the market data place bracket order modify order um i I'll, i'll take this as a feedback today i have prepared the code as per the basic things uh, in the next session i'll take these three things also okay just message me i'll give you my uh, details also just message me how to automate it on the cloud so that is like a bit further approach for these things now let me come back to the code uh, anyone else is asking no so just one second let me open the code so basically this is the code uh, which is like integrating can you see my screen the code screen yes or no everyone that yes 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 i'll i'll tell you that also hope you will cover yes so okay so this is like this is the basic code we here like we will be seeing some of the automations so currently what you do like for all the guys who don't ever who have not ever done automations or basically api trading what you do as the first step when you want to take a trade data or basically place the place order something like that what you do login right so you can see these are the sample you will be putting your credentials in this file i have given the sample file because my credentials are here and it is like it it is recorded i don't want it to get out so you fill all your credentials here right the the credentials which you are seeing as it is like this one the re redirect url grant type response type you don't have to think much around these things you have to keep it as it is and here you have to fill all the things you can create an app there are many i guess in on fires youtube platform also you will be seeing how to create an app just create an app you will be getting a client id your secret key your fires id you have to give a totp id you give and your pin number you have to give these five things just once you have to give and that's done then you can come directly to the login part 
in this login part, Fires has done this. Like, although the code is quite big, but Fires has given uh, so much flexibility in this thing that you just don't have to think much about this thing. All the non-technical guys just don't see this thing as a very overwhelming thing. Just think about only two things. What I'm telling you, the boxes, where are the boxes? Try to identify the boxes. Okay. So here is like one box. If you can see, what is the box name? Can you tell me? Can you think, can you guess what is the box name of this? Okay. So I'll tell you then retry. Okay. No. The box name is this one, yellow ones. Okay. This def is definitions. This is like starting of a box and this is the box name. Okay. Chalo. That's, that's okay. That's completely fine. Can you tell me what is this box name? The second one. Get access token, right? Token generation, access token. So by the name, can you tell me what this box is doing? As the name suggests, it is just getting the access token. You don't have to learn all these things or think about much of these things. These are the things which will get updated and will be like transferred to you in the API docs or somewhere. And you will be like, you just have to copy. You just have to use what? The get access token. Now see the login process, how simple it is. This is the login box. In this login box, what I'm getting first, access token equals to just same mathematics, the arithmetic mathematics, and I'm giving get access token box. What this box will give me, it will give me the access token. If I want to get this access token, do you know that in Fires, you have two types of socket, uh, two types of APIs. One is like normal basic APIs. The second is like the live streaming APIs. In that streaming APIs also, we will be needing access token. I'll show you in how in that box also we can directly use it. Then this is like, this is Fires thing. This is nothing you have to remember. This is like created by Fires only. In the Fires documentation, you just write this line. And then when you are returning fires means you are giving a fires API. This is your waiter. The name of the waiter is fires. And let's show you something. So basically let's try to run this. What I'm doing, I'm getting the waiter. I'm giving the box login. I'm saying these are my symbols. What are this SBIN or idea and give me the data. What are the code prices for this thing? Let's try to run this thing. So you can see there are many things which are coming here. So if I just show you, you can see here, you can see many things, bid, ask, and you have description, what is the symbol name, exchange, which it is coming from, what is the original name, and all these things are coming one by one, and you can use this thing. Where you can use this thing in your code, that uh, if, my, if you are using a, um, that, short strategy, uh, not short strategy, positional strategy or a swing trading strategy, you can just go and check every time that after every five minutes or two minutes or one minute, that if the price is equivalent to what I want or not. So one by one, you can go in as you are doing a swing or a positional trade, what will happen is you will be requiring much time. So after every five minutes, you can check if the price cross that after 10 minutes, you can check if the price cross that and you can like, you can get all the prices from this code. So that is also a very easy uh, method by doing this. I'm just showing you the basic thing which you are getting here, which can be used. You can see the spread also, open prices, low prices, everything, all the information. I guess OI, is, this is an NAC symbol, so you'll not be getting OI, but in uh, NFO symbols, you will be getting some OIs also. Uh, can you give me some symbol which is like currently open in the market? Any, any commodity trader or currency trader here? USD INR. Okay. Where are you writing this code? I am just, see, I'm using two things. One is uh, like basic knowledge, which is there to just uh, separate out the, uh, just copy paste all this code. And the second thing is I'm using the fires documentation, the official documentation where it is. So most of these things are given in the official documentation. Can we do paper trading? Yes. Uh, Lakshmanji, just think about this thing rather than sending the order to the exchange, just save that order in a file. And that is a paper trading, right? Uh, USD, INR, crude oil. Can you give me the symbol, full symbol name, which is used in fires? 
let's see like let's try to and which are liquid like which are like currently traded i recently at four o'clock i tried some symbols but those were not liquid enough can you give me some uh liquid symbols can you see some movement in those symbols and just try to give it to me so this is like the basic i told you now there are two types of apis via fires yes thank you thank you sidji there are two api types of apis via fires. so this is the example for the uh normal api if you want to like this sidji has given us uh, just the format this, uh, which Sid G has given, Ravi G. So let's try this. So let's remove these things and just give this one. Uh, Z. Yes. So just copy this. And just I'm passing it here. Let's try it. So this is the static API. You can see MC crude oil. Previous close price was 7792. Low price is this. Last price is 7757. Can you please confirm? Last price is 7757 for this. Yes. Okay. Let's try to take couple more right now this is the static API now let's see someone was asking about the web sockets also so I have the web socket code also so this is the web socket this is also provided by fires itself you just have to know how to utilize this most of the things are given by the uh, in the fires documentation so in this you will be subscribing the symbols for that subscribing symbol just go to the config file this is the file you will be changing whenever you are writing an algo code you will be changing a file which is a config file so after changing that config file you can just go and run it so you don't have to uh, change the code again and again for these things. You can just change the config files. Okay, let me see what is spread. The difference between the bid and the ask. What is the best price someone wants to buy at? What is the best price someone wants to sell at? Difference between both of these things is known as spread. Okay, let's try to get uh, one second where it is. So this is like, this is one symbol. Let me take this. Give me more symbols, guys. This is like, this is only one symbol. Give me more liquid symbols in this format only. MCX and this one, all these things. Let me show you. So this I have given us silver. I guess silver mic will be very good. These are three symbols. Let me add one more. Any other symbol you want to give? So there are four symbols, silver, crude oil. Uh, okay, crude oil is already there. So let's delete this thing if if it is a live market i could have shown you like your favorite symbols but as it is like commodity market timing so we can see like let's see how much liquid are there so i will run this file now python 3 uh, run and that was previous file i was just running for demo purposes otherwise like you can just run one file and that will be enough so i have run this file this is the response authentication and these are the you can see it is one by one if it is liquid it will be running these are the prices silver seems more liquid than any other thing then crude you can see this thing happening in real time yes how i can get symbol in this format you don't have to get any symbol in this format you can just give whatever the symbol you want like bank nifty nifty and this you can put it in via the code itself the code itself will handle these things you don't have to write it again this is just a demo class that's why i don't want to overwhelm most of the guys that's why i'm giving simple uh, symbols directly these all things can also be automated you can see real time right everyone can see real time this is moving please try to confirm check that if these are the prices can these live data be passed onto Excel sheet? Yes, it can be passed anywhere. An Excel sheet also, anywhere where you want. If you want to store this data tick by tick, this is known as tick by tick data because most of the exchanges or brokers will be giving you uh, the data which is not in a tick by tick format. Uh, they will be giving you in the format of uh, one minute historical data, right? So currently we are getting here uh, uh, LTP and symbol, you can get other things also, OHLC and volume. So there are other web sockets for that thing, which fires give. Fires have five to seven web sockets option, which you can choose from. So this is the basic one. Okay. Any questions around this thing? You are enjoying the session? Yes or no? Everyone, please write if you are seeing on the YouTube also. Right. What is web socket? So web socket, as I've explained to you, Lakshmanji, uh, what is an API? It is like a 
uh, waiter, right? So this is a waiter which will come to you again and again uh, and asking, do you want anything? Do you want anything? Do you want anything? Do you want anything? This is a dynamic. So it, it is not. One waiter is like, it takes your order, give it to the chef and come back with the order. Second waiter, it is keep coming to you. Do you want this thing? Now this is this, this is this, this is this. Do you want any other thing? That annoying waiter which comes to you again and again, that is WebSocket. You can imagine it like that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So we have to learn Python. Now coming to that part only. So this is like, these are the basic things. Crude oil seems like you can see here also. This is basic. Just think about this thing just by writing some piece of code and how much analysis you can do. You, can you tell me, this is your screen. I'm, I have like, I am not saying anything. Can you tell me looking at the screen, we have given these three instruments here. What are the instruments you are thinking that are more liquid than the other ones? Can you categorize the liquidity just by looking at it? Not exact data, just by looking at it. Yes, you can access that also. I guess Fires API give that thing. Silver crude oil, yes. Uh, just one second. Please explain it from scratch. All these are bouncing from... See, Bharatji, uh, the main thing is all the code which is there, which is in front of you, that is the code which is given to us by Fires only. Like uh, the Fires documentation has all these things. You just have to know how to use this as code blocks. If I want to write another piece of code also, all these things which I have showed you, you just have to copy paste it and build a strategy on top of it. So it's like if I just start, I can explain each and every line of this code. But the thing is, if I just start explaining what are you doing with like this encoded string, what is this bait 64, I can give you proper reasons, but it will not be much more suitable for you. My main aim is when you are learning Python, see the Python is 100, very vast. You don't have to learn 100% of it. If you are learning what is useful for exactly you, the 10% or 15% of it, which is actually usable in the algo trading, why you have to learn everything? If you go here and there, they will be teaching you statistics also, this and also that thing also. Problem is because to increase the course curriculum or course sizes, most of the institutes, what's, what they do is they teach you multiple nonsense things and you get confused. You think like what is happening? This is, I am just telling you one thing. You don't have to look around this thing. You just take this file and do this login and just call this login. And in this WebSocket, you can see I'm using access token and I'm getting this access token from that box only. That box was stored in login process. So I'm just getting this as a box. So that's that's the main thing. You have to think everything in a box and some of the box which are like, which you cannot, there is nothing you cannot do for that boxes like the login processes or a place order format processes or a WebSocket calling for just uh, take it from whatever the broker it is there in fires they have given proper documentations you can pick it out from there also and uh, build on top of this rather than just reinventing the wheel that's the main idea i guess that's uh, that makes sense Bharatji, right can you show example first how it works in market so idea so this is real market only right so it is like it is currently rajivji giving you all the symbols all the tickers and all these things on top of this you can build that you want to create after 10 30 uh, take this option uh, sell a straddle or sell a strangle you can just build on top of this these are the fixed part of the code on top of the, the entry in this code you have seen only two things currently or only rather one thing the input part of the box the second box is the signal processing entry logics will be built on this thing now you are getting Think about this thing, Rajivji. When you are getting the LTP of a symbol, can't you make like every five minutes, it will be creating an OHLC data that take the top and build strategies on top of it. Can we get quantity? To yes, yes, Sidji. On other APIs, on other WebSocket APIs, everything is there. This is tick data. Even for me, it is a bounce. I am non-technical. No, no problem, Gopinathji. It's just the basic thing that we are explaining what the fixed part of the code looks like where you don't have to do anything. You have to just focus on your entries, exit. So if you want to see one of the, I may be having some code with the straddle part. Just one second. Yes. So see this thing. So this is like something like the straddle part only. So here, what is happening is you are just going there. You are checking. It's a combined premium strategy. You are checking the first, you are checking that if it is below uh, 330, you are going first entry condition. You are checking if the combined premium for both of your things, what are the both things? 
the straddles are at a particular which i will be giving them the combined uh, combined premium if it is that just place the order otherwise exit and once it is placed just exit the order this is the code something it will look like it is one one page code only you can write it with any any broker so these are the main fixed part of the code which you which you will be what are the rate limits on tick by tick data via web sockets i have to check that exact number i guess it is uh 60 data points which you can take in one minute as far as i remember which are the tools as ide and other relevant tools which we need to develop other uh, just ide and prop uh, python that these two will give you the things how we can take trades first so we will get more idea two three trade example trade example i cannot tra uh, take trade example currently in the next sessions i'll be when i'll be covering the signal processing or the place order part then i'll be taking more trades this is the input part of the thing do we need public ip to establish web socket no 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 public ip is required you can establish normal web socket connections it is not that it is not that complicated it is very easy trust me transaction time yes where is trade going on uh, yes these are real time you can check it in your screens and just open your mobiles open your fires app or any any uh, platform and check what is the crude price or silver price is it giving the same number or not rajiv ji uh, will we get support from you while making yes 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 uh, you will be getting support can you share these files these files are a bit on the proprietary side so uh, you can connect with me on this thing we can discuss um, whom to contact i'll give you yes 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 just just one second uh, now it is just exceeding time i hope everyone is enjoying this thing right and you don't think yes so basically if you are more interested in these things you can fill up this form I'll give you this form. So someone from a team will get uh, in touch with you. Yes. So someone from my team will get touch in touch with you. You can see around this thing. If you want to ask something from me, you can just uh, yes. You can they, you can connect with um, with me on Fires Community. Uh, I'll give you my Fires Community link also. Just one second. And. Uh, where it is yes so let me check yes so this is my fires community link everyone are you placing the link into the chat box or just yes 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 okay yes so basically this is my fires community link please fill the form so i get some ideas that how much you are interested in so i can design the lecture according to that there is a feedback section also in that so i can develop more sessions around that um can you please explain usage of order socket in the next class please write it in the feedback i'll prepare my lecture as per the feedback given by you if you want to contact me just drop a message on fires community uh, and most of the things will be given in the form links also okay uh Yes. So basically, we will we will be covering a lot more things. So for today's session, most of the things are covered. But as per your feedbacks, as per all the things which you will be giving in the forms, I will be preparing the lecture according to that. I guess most of you have uh, asked me for some basic code, some place order. I can share that too. Okay. I hope everyone enjoyed this thing. Everyone in the uh, YouTube session, can you uh, give me some insight, Naresh ji or? हाँ यार दैट वाज वेरी वेरी डिटेल्ड आई मीन जैसे आप बता रहे थे आई आई वाज ट्राइंग टू फॉलो इट बट आई एम प्रीटी श्योर कि व्हेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू सेट दिस अप राइट आई विल हैव अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Basically, so, see, there are yeah. things that you might tell me, but in real life, will be slightly different than how you portrayed it as well. So. See, the thing is that you have to know the foundations. That is the main thing. The main, th the problem is there that in the market we are seeing many guys are complicating the things unnecessarily. So that is the main problem where everyone is getting confused. That this is the code. That so today I have explained the code. Although the code is looking very complex, that's why some of the uh, guys asked me also. Please explain this code. There is no use. why you want to get into the details of the things which are of no use for you just use it as a no code tool it is free of cost for you it will help you out a lot and one one year cloud subscription is also free you can try it out with a 5000 or 7000 rupee from day one so that's that's the lo whole logic behind this thing brilliant brilliant well thank you so much archit uh, thank you for sharing your expertise with us today it, it was it was a fantastic session I, मुझे I personally I'm going to go back and watch it again oh, uh, sure, just sure. so I'm able to catch up with you know with, with the explanations. Yeah. Uh, so thank you viewers for being a part of this webinar. We hope you found the insights provided by Archit to be valuable and inspiring. 
Also, algo trading is a powerful tool. And with the FIRES API, you have the opportunity to take your trading strategies to the next level. So if you have any queries, please reach out to Archit on the FIRES community. So FIRES community, we have more than about 50,000 uh, active users where they ask questions. People often answer each other's questions. You can discuss anything related to algo trading as well. It will solve a lot of your queries. Uh, you know, when it, when it, when you're trying to uh, understand algo from scratch. So you can connect with Archit over the community. I'm pretty sure ask as many questions as you can, because some of the questions that you ask might be useful to me or to anyone else as well. So uh, we will uh, connect, uh, connect on more upcoming workshops on Fires API in future. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe to, to the Fires YouTube channel. So you get regular uh, alerts. Uh, so uh, once again, thank you, Archit. Thank you, Thanks. viewers. We will uh, look at doing more of these workshops in the future. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Thanks. Thanks, Okay. Okay. Bye.